Appetite can be a wonderful thing. It can also be a pain in the ass. Now, we're programmed in to count our calories and see what's going in so we can see what's going out and manage it all and balance it. But when you get to a certain point, and it's kind of where I want my clients to be at, where they say that, you know what got me on this amount of calories? I feel hungry, I don't feel hungry. And to be able to be honest with themselves. So where we actually can listen to our bodies, know we need more, know we need less, and progress from there. But how do we know these sorts of things? Well, there are two certain types of hunger. Physical hunger, which will be things where you are actually running on empty. You are starving and your body is growling and your stomach is making loads of noises and things like that. They're not digesting noises, you're actually hungry. You know you are on empty, you haven't eaten for a while. This is gonna mean that your hunger hormones are gonna be rising and you're gonna have low blood sugar. You might get a bit dizzy as you go up, um, as you get up too fast or things like that. The other thing is probably the hardest one to judge and this is gonna be psychological hunger. So head hunger essentially. And this is gonna be where you have loads of temptations. So you have the temptations, those donuts are passing you by at work. Mm donuts you have to grab one you start so like you start dribbling and drooling and anything like that they're the temptations you get hungry because they are there you go into a supermarket you smell bread from the fresh bakery you get hungry you want bread why it's there the temptation is there also cravings like your body will have cravings for certain things um, that is going to be another type of hunger you're going to think oh i want this i want that but essentially you don't. Emotional eating, that's going to be psychological hunger. You get into a certain emotion and you want to eat, you feel down so you eat to boost the dopamine levels and things like that, the serotonin, you want to get that in there. The last one is habitual eating. So your psychological eating and it's down to habits. Like you're at work, you keep picking at things whilst you're typing away on the computer and you're picking at things. Like they're the certain things which we have to watch out for because we think we're hungry and we're not. Now, we can take certain steps to know that when we're hungry, we don't overeat. We have food already prepared, which is very easy to do if you want to do it. Or you can get companies that give you the portion sizes. And that leads on to the next one, getting the right portion sizes. If we prepare food when we're hungry, chances are we eat more. If we pre-prepare, it's in our little tubs, in the fridge, grab one of them, that's the right portion sizes. Presentation makes food taste nicer because psychologically up here, we think, oh my God, it looks nice, it's gonna be nice. You could have a chicken salad one day, the next day you have a chicken salad which nutritionally might actually be just as good, but the lettuce is all messed up, it's not shredded the way you want, the tomato is more crushed rather than sliced and it doesn't seem to taste as nice. But all it is is that it looks different. And the last one is hydration. If we're fully hydrated, chances are we're not gonna crave as much food, we're not gonna be as hungry because once we get dehydrated, the body sends confusing signals thinking we need food, we need more food, and actually it just needs water. So please be mindful when it comes to are you eating out of habit, out of emotionally, and out of temptation and cravings, or are you physically hungry? It's something that, if you're honest with yourself, you can make a lot of progressions pretty easily.